There are two things you want from an interview. You want to establish a connection with the person you're interviewing, and you want to capture the content to help you inform your audience. In this section, I want to talk about how to get the most from the person you're interviewing. This includes the physical skills of interviewing, preparing your questions, and your approach to asking the questions. I'll end with a checklist of things to remember. So not to sound facetious, but what is an interview? It's a conversation where you do most of the listening. The purpose of an effective interview is to have your audience hear from an expert, someone with firsthand experience to help interpret an event, someone with a strong opinion, or someone who adds texture or mood to your film. Making your interviewee feel comfortable and creating trust is critical. There are a number of ways for you to do this with your body language. Keep your body open and directed at the person you're interviewing without crossing your arms. Maintain eye contact to show that you're interested. Just as important is to have them talk to you and keep eye contact with you. Use positive facial expressions to show empathy. Don't interrupt them unless you need to get them back on track. It's critical that you listen intently. Don't spend your time thinking about the next question. Your interviewee will be able to tell if they're not really being heard. Interviewing is like counseling. You're getting the interviewee to express truth as they see it. The trick of a good interview is sorting truth from poor memories and clarifying misinterpretations, facts, and lies. You can tell if someone is being honest because the camera acts like a kind of a microscope and sees into the person. And I say that as you're watching me talk. So you need to be prepared with the questions you want to ask. This means doing your homework. Research the person you're interviewing and the topic you're going to talk about. Order your questions so that they work towards the conclusion that you want. Here's what I do. I start with the factual questions and work toward emotional responses. The goal is to have the subject become more than just a source of information. You want the participant to be part of the story, and you want them to participate in such a way so that they have a stake in the topic. For example, if I'm asking someone about a humanitarian project, I'll start by asking the who, what, where, and when kinds of questions. Once I've got the essential information, I'll start to ask them how they feel about their contribution, how their efforts mattered, and the impact that the experience has had on them in personal ways. Here are some practical things to consider when asking questions. Direct your interviewee with focused questions, not open-ended ones. For example, what are your successes is an undirected question. Better to ask, in this project, what was successful and how did you determine that? Avoid questions that lead to one-word answers. Have you enjoyed this video so far? Rather, ask, what have you connected with in this video so far? You may need to ask your interviewee to add your question into their answer. For example, the response, why are you participating in this course? Your answer, because I need to communicate with my supporters. That's not going to work in your edit. A better answer would be, I'm participating in this course because I need to communicate with my supporters. The difference is that the second answer will edit well into your final film so the audience will understand the context of the question and answer. I hope that makes sense. Ask follow-up questions. Why, how, what. It keeps them talking. Where to interview someone matters. Not only do you want them to feel comfortable, but the background is a setting that can be integrated into the purpose of the film because it tells us something about the topic. Finally, what really works great in a film, have your interviewee tell a story. Nothing's better to holding your audience's attention than a good story. Sorry if I haven't told enough stories during this presentation. I'm just trying to get you to the information. Interviewing's an art. It's a skill that takes time and empathy. That comes with practice. And remember, like the rest of filmmaking, you're going to get better and better 
every time you turn on the camera. Let's consider preparing a list of questions. Here's a scenario. You're interviewing the director of a relief organization about a disaster event that they responded to. What questions would you start asking? Details about the disaster. Who, when, where, and what. Better yet, ask them to tell a story about the event, making sure that all of those details were covered. If not, ask some follow-up questions. Once that big picture has been explained, work towards your objectives for your interview. Is the film about effective project management, leadership in crisis, or emergency fundraising? We've already talked about the camera, the size of shots, headroom and lead room. Next, I want to talk about a couple of technical details in recording a good interview, sound and light.